try to go back up with the tank, man. So we're moving right along. We're moving right along. Yes, sir. All right, YouTube. We got this thing in learn mode, man. About to test it out. Gonna get a uh, little road, get a little road trip in, man. We're gonna see how she drive. And uh, we're gonna go from there, y'all. Let her warmed up. We got her in uh learn learning mode now. So hey man, we're gonna take a little ride real quick. See how she do. We don't know what she gonna do yet. Oh man. Jesus. What up dear? what up youtube back again with another one yes sir yes sir switched up two six here man we're here back with a quick update man on the holly sniper man oh uh, y'all it's been a headache man it's been a real freaking headache i've been dealing with this thing since i put it in man it's it make me regret the whole thing now man honestly y'all just giving you my opinion on what I had going on since I've been messing with it. It's just been a horrible experience, man. So let me show you, man. We've been cr getting it to crank up. Won't stay crunk. Um, talked to the uh, tech guys at Holly, man. They did a few things the first time. This is talking about previous what I've been doing, not today. But we did a few things, man. They burnt up my fuel pump. They had to send me another fuel pump. Got the fuel pump in, man. And the car is cranking up, but it's still doing the same thing, man. So the, today, I talked to the guys again, and um, they told me that it sounded like I wasn't getting enough fuel. So I ran another pressure test on it because I didn't put a fuel pressure regulator on it. So that was my bad. But I did order one today so I can have one put on the line so I know what it is at all times. But I didn't think I was going to have that problem, honestly, with the, the Holly retrofit pump for this system. So in addition to the Holly Sniper, I bought the retrofit pump, as y'all remember in the first video. So, but yeah, I, I, so today I went and got the fuel pressure tester, tested it, tested it, got, I ran, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see this, a little quick connect right here. I checked my pressure on the fuel pump and it was getting 10 PSI, if that. So just making sure my line, lines weren't clogged up or anything like that, man. I went all the way to the back. Went before my fuel filter. Went, for, went before the fuel filter. Wait a minute, man. Let me, let me get some light, y'all. So, I went to before my fuel filter is the actual line straight from the pump did a fuel pressure test uh test on it and literally this brand new pump is coming on and i'm not getting no pressure none at all no pressure at all man matter of fact i'm a hum. Me and ants up under there working. Let's see if I can get a uh I ain't gonna be able to do all that. But um I'm literally getting no pressure from this brand new fuel pump. Literally, no pressure at all. So of course I've been waiting now. For about an hour 
waiting on the Holly text to call me back, man. And time's ticking away. Got things to do. It's just, it's just been a headache, man. It's just been a headache. Trying to get my car out of here, man. It's just been sitting there. I ain't been able to tip. I'm getting pissed off. Everything that comes back, it's my fault why the system ain't working properly. Everything comes back to me, oh, oh, you need to check this, you need to check that. I done spent so much money in this damn system that I just wish I would have left it alone the first time. So, man, it's a quick update on the damn Holly Sniper. I, in my honest opinion, it ain't worth the money, it ain't worth the headache. They sit here and tell you all this nonsense, check this, check this, check that. And like, this is a, a brand new car, man. A brand new car, bro. As y'all can see from the freaking up under there, I bought a brand new fuel tank. Brand new fuel tank. Brand new fuel pump. And it's still no problem. It's still problems, man. They had me check my time, man. All that stuff. I went and bought a new coil for my distributor. Everything trying to get this thing done, man. And they tell you, oh, your car must be old, blow. Nah, no, sir. Your boy got receipts. Your boy got receipts, cuz. Yes, sir. So, yeah, man. Before I was interrupted. Like I said, I got my receipts. Everything on this damn car, brand new. Everything. Wire on it. Everything, bro. Everything new. I got all my receipts. I got all of them. Brand new crate engine, 350. Transmission rebuilt. Everything, I got my receipts. Everything brand new on this car, man. Everything. So, when they say, so when they be telling you in these videos, oh, your car ain't right, your, you must got something else going on. Nah, I don't think that's the case. Cause the proof is in the pudding right here, man. I got a brand new car. Brand new car. Everything on this car is brand new. Everything. Ain't nothing on this car that I haven't touched. So when they say it's in this in your car, your particular car, your vehicle, nah, it's in them dams. It's in these Holly systems, man. So that's just the take I done had from it so far. I know a couple people that's working on them right now that's dealing with the same stupid stuff going on where the car won't stay running. Um, I do know one guy that's had success with his so far, and even he said it took him a good little while to get it worked, the bugs and stuff worked out, man. So honestly, man, in my opinion, I wish I'd have kept my carburetor because my carburetor was less headache than this, man. This, this, this don't make no sense. I'm over two grand into this system right now, and it's still sitting here, still sitting in the same spot. Same spot, man. So, I don't know, man. We're going we gonna to see what these boys do, man. Uh, I'm waiting on them to call me back. I called. Um, he wanted me to do a fuel pressure test on it. I did a fuel pressure test. He was actually right. I ain't got no fuel pressure. It's a brand new fuel pump. Brand new fuel pump. Almost 400 bucks for that fuel pump. It's turning on. It's not pumping. So I'm going uh, to wait to hear back from them, man, and uh, see what they say. See if this thing is covering under warranty or whatever. This is crazy. Haven't even put no miles on the car. And, and the fuel pump is gone again. It's the second time. Again. The second time, bro. So I, don't, I just don't know at this point, y'all. So, man, uh Keep it locked, man. I might give you a little bit more if uh, we hear back from the tech today.
I ain't got too much time. I got an appointment set up. I got to roll out. You know what I'm saying? So, but hopefully they call here in the next few minutes before I get ready to get up out of here, man, and try to work something out or see what the next solution is or what I need to do this time. You know how that go. They want to point the finger at you. It's not their stuff. It's you. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to see what they say. But keep it locked, man. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell as well, man, so you stay up to date on what we got going on, man, in the 2-6. So, man, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Just like I said, if we get any more, I throw y'all on, on to the uh, – I turn you back on if I talk to the tech. So, yo, so now we on the phone with Holly right now, man. Um, as I say, as I said earlier, they want to point the blame at you every time you talk to, I just talked to a different technician. I'm telling him I'm getting 10, zero to 10 PSI between the, the fuel line that runs straight to the, to the EFI. I pulled the line before the fuel filter and I'm still getting the same reading. Now he's telling me, oh, it must be an electrical problem. It must be an electrical problem. I hear the pump coming on clear as day. Clear as day. Clear as day, y'all. So again, this is why I say every time you talk to him, it's going to be your problem. It's, it's something on your side. As I showed you earlier in this, in, this, in this clip, man, everything that I bought for this car is brand new, man. Brand new, bro. Over two G's into this thing. Had to spend some money yesterday and get a regulator so I can so I can know the reading of my PSI on this fuel thing. When I bought a, a retrofit pump to make sure I didn't have to deal with this. You spend all this extra money trying to make sure the system runs flawlessly. And it's just crap. It's just a waste of money, honestly, man. I could have just went and bought an inline, inline cheap tank, uh, fuel, uh, fuel pump, man, and probably wouldn't even have this many problems, bro. It's just ridiculous, man. So I'm gonna turn you back on as soon as I get these people on the phone. See what they say. Man, I I did that yesterday, man. He's supposed to have been calling me back yesterday. I uh, I contacted him yesterday after I talked to him yesterday about the about you hear me? Okay, uh, he's uh, getting ready to get off of uh, the phone. So, uh, do you want me to send you to his queue? Yes, please. So you'll be next in line. Yes, sir. Basically, when he gets off the phone, they say he's getting ready. You'll be next in line to, for him to talk to. Yes, you want sir. Want me to go ahead and do that for you? Yes, sir. Okay, let me put you on hold and send you over. All right, thank you. So again, man, with the games, man. Just like I just told this man, I called him back yesterday. Did the same thing. Oh, he's busy. Left my name and number for him to call me back. I just talked to him earlier. Oh, he's busy. Yesterday, brother, with the EFI. Yeah, man, I... I all right, man, I did what you asked me to. I, I went and got the, the fuel pressure line, man. I mean, the fuel pressure tester. And I disconnected it from okay. from the top of the EFI. I ran the pressure there. It was only getting 10 PSI. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? I went to the okay. I went to the back of the tank. I went to the back to the fuel tank. I pulled the line before the, uh, before the fuel filter and did a pressure test there. And I'm still getting the same... 10 PSI. The motor is fully turning. I hear it coming on. Like uh, I'm just trying yep. to, I'm trying to figure out what's like what's going on, bro. This is the second pump. Like uh, I, I'm just getting frustrated okay. at this point, brother. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, and you had already replaced the regulator. 
the one time. Did you have the old regulator still by chance? I don't remember if we had talked about that. Um, I might have it, bro. Um, I have to look. I, I... It's fuel pump assembly 19-350, right? Yes. Okay. Give me one quick moment here. Oh, no, that is return. That is, that is return. I'm... So you would have a return line off your throttle body then? Yes, there's one off the throttle body. That's why I replaced the regulator. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and take all that back. With the fuel pump module that you have in tank, that is return setup. It is not regulated on the fuel pump. It is regulator in the throttle body. Uh, so replacing that before was correct. Um, out of curiosity at this point, uh, with only showing 10 PSI, have you popped the return line off the throttle body and seen if you have any kind of flow going through that? No, I haven't. It's... Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, if that would be something that you'd be able to do real quick even, like no. if you have a different section of hose and just take the fuel line off the uh, passenger side rear, put your section of hose on there, just run into a bucket. Can we try and see how much fuel we have coming through? Not right this second. If it has a ton of fuel coming through, it's the regulator. If it doesn't, it's potentially fuel pump. But okay, okay, that's something I'm gonna have to check tomorrow, man. I'm just trying to. Um, I actually had an appointment today. Okay. I was. I tried to call you yesterday. I guess you were uh, tied up yesterday when I was at the shop. I, but unfortunately, I'm, I was. I apologize for that. But here, let me give me one quick moment. Let me. Pull this up real quick. Okay. Perfect. There's that. And that. Okay. So. I have, uh, oh, I'm working on it. My computer's being a little bit slow. Trying to get up, pulled up the other replacement order. Um, and then I can just go ahead and I'll still just send you a replacement regulator. Um, that way you have it coming. No big deal there. Uh, regulator kit. Let me see this. Oh, that's right. I had sent you that one before. Okay. Yeah, so I can go ahead and send a replacement regulator for you. Um, that shouldn't be any big deal. If you do, tomorrow just want to check and make sure if you're getting fuel flow through the return side or not. Again, if you are, um, we need to replace the regulator. If there's nothing coming out, then for whatever reason, there could be something going on with that pump again, which is very, very uncommon. But, of course, things can happen. Um, but I'll go ahead and get a replacement regulator in for you already. So that'll be coming out for you. Okay. Okay. So and I appreciate you calling in today and you have a good afternoon. Okay. All right, man. Thank you, sir. No problem. You take care. Thank you for taking the time today to answer our survey. Was the. So there it goes, man. Same stuff. They're going to. Like I said, they're gonna try to point it back at you, man. Like I said, man. I just don't I just don't get how a bad regulator is causing you to get no pressure from your pump. When I disconnect it from the line, put the pressure gauge on it. Pulled it pulled the line bef before the fuel filter, and I'm getting no pressure there. Uh I must be crazy. I I don't get it. Like, maybe they got some new technology that I don't know about. How is this regulator is gonna go cause that pump not to have any PSI? I really don't know, y'all. I'm trying to be cool, calm, and collective with these people, man. But I am so ready to go off on them, bro. I am I am over two G's in this again, man. Over two G's in this, and I haven't drove my car in three months. 
going on four months. Uh, it's January what? The 18th. The 18th. January the 18th, y'all. This month is almost over. So it's going into four months now. So two over two G's into it. And I'm still sitting in the same position, y'all. My carburetor was better, better than this. It gave me problems, yeah. But I'd rather deal with the carburetor than what I'm dealing with right now, man. This is crazy. At least I could drive my car. At least I could drive my car. But yes, y'all, man. I guess um, this is going to be a wrap to this video, man. Oh, I'll keep y'all updated on what's going on how the results in i know it's been a while since we have dropped this the holly the holly um second part for the holly install or whatever but this is what's going on man so just trying to let y'all know what we got going on and real-time knowledge on what you're going to be dealing with when you get this system man new parts new car Regardless, you still gonna have to deal with issues. Don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure some people have thrown it on their car and probably had no problems out of it. But me, I'm not one of them. I know guys that's not one of them. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to get some knowledge out, man, on what's going on with these Holly systems, man. Honestly, man, if I could take it back, I would not purchase the system. That's just being honest, man. I would not purchase the system. Uh, it's just been a headache. So, I'm going to keep y'all updated, man. I guess look out for part three of the Holly Sniper EF5 install, man. And we already here, man. So, we're going to keep pushing, man. We're going to keep pushing for it, man. That's all I can do now, man. Can't turn back the hands of time. So, we're going to keep pushing for it, though, man. But, man, I appreciate y'all, man, for watching, man. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share it as well, man. Get the news out there, man. Post this. Reshare this, man, so Holly can see this. So maybe they'll get their stuff together, man. They really need to get their things together, man. They need to do some more research on this product and, and get it working a little bit better for the type of money that your average middle-class person is spending hard-earned dollars on, these, on this equipment, man. And to me, it's not worth it, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I might as well went with a Fitech probably would have been a whole lot easier and better than this crap so all right man keep uh catch y'all next time brother man we out